Right, so I've got this videotape which my daughter found in storage somewhere and it's from Christmas 2000, almost like, what's that, 23, 24 years old? But I want to get this onto this. Now, uh, how do I do it? Ah, I know. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Oh, the devil. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Oh. Anyway, so look what I got here. You might have seen this in my previous videos in the background on the, on the sideboard. Uh, and again, this is something my daughter also found in storage <laughs> from when she was a kid. And loads of kids had these in the sort of mid to late 90s, early 2000s before they started switching to DVD. Uh, but I want to use this to transfer this video to digital so I can upload it, maybe put it on YouTube privately and share it with the family. Be nice to see what's on here. Um, now, these things weren't the greatest, they weren't that expensive. I see them for sale now for like hundreds of pounds. <laughs> maybe I'll keep it, put it in storage, it might be worth something one day, who knows. <laughs> Uh, but it's a, a cheap budget portable CRT TV uh, with uh, videotape. Right, unfortunately, I can't match the frame rate, the refresh rates on these, on my camera with the, with the CRT screen. Um, you're obviously seeing some flickering lines going up and down. This is the best I can get it using the camera I've got. If I had an expensive, you know, thousands of pounds mirrorless camera or DHLR, DSLR, sorry. Uh, I could probably match the refresh rate and get a better picture, but this is the best you're gonna get. Anyway, so I can't believe though, that we used to think these were okay to watch. <laughs> Plenty terrible. Anyway, right, so this is, uh, I'm not really gonna talk much about this. It is what it is, it's an old video player plus TV. It's got play, stop eject, forward rewind and the TV settings here. So there it is, okay. So I've got a tape in it already. And this is, this is actually a weird because this is, um, they were testing out this new uh, thing with, with this new thing which dry, that's my daughter there, which dries you. Uh, and they put it in the leisure center near us and you're going and it just blows hot air at you. And this was state of the art at the time. <laughs> I don't even know if they still got these anywhere in leisure centers or fitness centers anywhere. And this was on a, a, a Welsh TV programme. There's, there's my daughter, about eight years old there. <laughs> She's going to love me showing this. <laughs> anyway, so that's enough of that. So that's what that is. Anyway, right. So what I've got is this. I've got a USB digital video adapter. Audio and video SCART grabber. <laughs> okay. Now, hang on a sec. Can you please be quiet? That's better. <laughs> so, on the back of here, if I can, let's turn this off, let's do my head in. It must be doing your head in, right? On the back of here, we've got a scart lead. Oh, I can't, hang on, I have to unplug it. Hang on. So I've gone peep on. On the back of here, we've got a SCART socket. These are the old sockets from years ago. And now these are two way. So this will, or this will, using this video grabber, there it is. Okay. Uh, it should uh, grab the video footage from here, transfer it over to here, and be able to record it into a digital format. Marvellous. Let's have a look what we got on the box. Ooh. Okay, let's have a little look what we got. I've already had it out of here. Okay, we've got some instruct Okay, we'll have a look at them later because it is, once you get used to it, it's okay. I've tried it once. 
but it's got a couple, uh, two ways of kind of doing it. Once you get used to it, it's okay. But the first time is a bit of a learning curve. We'll go through it in a bit. So here we've got the old scart lead there. God, I haven't seen one of them in years. A USB connection there. I don't know what connection that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know. And then we've got the grabber here with USB and you've got some audio composite um, RCA cables you can put in there if you want to do it that way. And there's the cables it comes with there. So, you know, it's got everything I need in there. So hopefully it'll be able to work. Anyway, let's get it all set up and see how to record from that TV nah, onto nah. Okay, so I've got it connected up now. I got SCART lead going into back the back of here. Got the um, USB cable going from here to the laptop. Powers, it powers on, self-powered by the USB. I forgot to mention as well, you also have an S-Video connector here as well, if you've got that on your device. I never used that ever. I didn't even know it existed when I was a kid. <laughs> anyway, but you've got that as well. Other side here as well, get that and see if you can see that. You've got AV and SCART. Because I'm using a SCART lead, I'm going to switch it over to SCART. OVS, okay? Right, let's have a look at the instructions. <laughs> and uh, let's see if we can use these apps on my laptop to get this copy in the video to here. Right, so according to the instructions, the cap capture card usage guide you can either use the pot player and it tells you how to do it here okay or you can use OBS and it tells you how to do it here so let's have a try of both of them see which one gives the best result if if it might not be one might not be better than the other I don't know I don't know I don't know we have to see um, we'll, but uh, I think the OBS is a little bit more complex than the pop player. Uh, but if it's better, then maybe you want to use that. There you go. Okay, right. I've been uh, giving it a go. Um, a bit hit and miss, especially with pop player. Pop player, sometimes the sound would work, sometimes it wouldn't. So I'm not going to bother with pop player. Even though it's a bit more easier to use than OBS Studio, it's too hit and miss. Uh, so I'm gonna try OBS Studio. This is a bit more of a learning curve, but once you do it a couple of times, you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. It's like anything, anyway. So let's open OBS Studio, and I've gotta put my specs on, because I can't see very well. Some of the print in this manual is a bit teeny, okay? So I need my specs. <laughs> and, um, also, as well, it's worth mentioning that uh, OBS Studio is slightly different. It's been updated since this print. So some things may be in a slightly different area. It wasn't too bad to work out. I could work it out, but they may be not exactly where they are in the instructions. Okay. Anyway, let's open OBS Studio and see what we got. spot okay we're in so the first thing you got to do is you have to add a source I tried HP I tried ketchup I tried a bit of mail none of them worked this is how you have to do it so you click the plus button down in the bottom left add source you hit video capture device don't have to do anything there just click OK. Now it comes up with my ugly mug. <laughs> so in device here, you have to click on that and click AV to AV USB. OK, I believe that's working. Let's play it now. Just make sure it is coming through. Yeah. Okay, so now if we notice, there's no audio. All right, so down here, 
you scroll down and use custom hang on whoop, use custom audio device and it comes up with audio device here microphone USB 2 then you want to click on that and you want to get output audio direct sound and click OK there we got sound yeah now for some reason it's popped it up here in the corner I don't know why he's done that okay let's get it full turn that down a little bit right minority report oh, remember that that's a good film and then you want to start recording right so over to the right start recording Okay, it's worth mentioning that the first of all, when I started recording, I didn't have, why is it doing that? Uh, I didn't have it over the two screens and so nothing came through. So I just, what I did, I clicked there, duplicate scene, and it comes over to program scene. And so now I should hopefully be able to record. Let's have a look. Try it now. Okay, let's stop recording and let's see what we've got. Let's stop that. And show recordings. Okay, yeah, so it looks like I've got a picture. See this one here? Just come up with a blank screen because I didn't have it. I had it in preview scene only, not in program scene. So hopefully we finally got there and we've got it recording. <laughs> yes, victory is mine. <laughs> Did it, finally, okay. <laughs> so, there you go. I managed to capture the video from this piece of junk to there and get a digital recording, which I can now keep for the family for as long as I want, as long as digital recordings don't become obsolete. <laughs> I don't know. Then I have to think of another thing in 20 years time. But there we are. It was a bit hit and miss. Uh, it was a little bit of a learning curve when you're first using your software. But once you get used to it, it's not so bad. And I do think that OBS Studio is a little bit better than the pot player. I prefer to use OBS, but, and it, but again, OBS is a bit harder to learn and pop player but you get a better result when you know how to use it anyway that's come to the end of the video if anyone knows a workaround or why that pop player uh, didn't have any sound sometimes it did sometimes it didn't perhaps it's something to do with a laptop or some setting i haven't pressed let me know in the comment section anyway that's come to the end of the video i'll catch you in the next one Never ever forget that I got you and you. Got me to reach for the star. Clap every night in high. Reach for the star. Blow your heart inside. Reach for the star. And that's when I push your hand for you. That's when your dreams will work. I'm so bad. I'm so bad.